Hi, this is Rick Francis with Singing News. I'm visiting with the Isaacs. We're here at the Grammy nominee party in Nashville, Tennessee for 2019. You guys are nominated for Best Roots Gospel Album this year. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the album. It's a favorites album. You, you re-recorded some favorite best love songs? That's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay. Um, it's called Favorites Revisited by Request. And these are some of the most requested songs that we've had down through the years. The songs that were our first songs ever heard on radio. You know, you've been there for some of those. Yeah. And so we went in and re-recorded all these songs the way we sound today. And anytime you sang a song for 20, 25 years, um, it's... It's just um, a closer fit, you know, it, it, it fits better. It's, you know, you, you may go up here where you didn't before, you may change a word here, you may change a chord here. Um, and so they're, they're the same songs, but we re-recorded them with the heart of what they mean to us today. And so it was so exciting that this kind of album would be recognized in this category. We were completely surprised. Best Roots Gospel Album. I'm gonna throw you a curveball. I'm gonna ask each one of you your favorite song on the album. Well, I think uh, one of my favorite songs is um, "Is Not This the Land of Beulah," which I love because it's a song that's over 200 years old, and the verses are just so personal and so. And the way we did it, we did it really stripped down. Each one of us took a verse, and you can just hear it and feel it. And then I know you. This is one of your favorites too. Why do you like singing it now that before you did like years ago? Well, my my thing about this song is is. We, we learned it when we were kids because our grandparents sang it, but as we've gotten older, you start experiencing life and realizing how close and what these lyrics really mean, you know. Uh, you know, when you're 18 years old talking about finding your way through life to make it to heaven, or when you're 46 or 47, you've been through a little more stuff, so it's a little more real. Absolutely. Becky? Favorite well, song? Uh, it's hard to say a favorite, but I would have to say um, probably getting the re-record stand still because it has been one of the most requested songs that I've I've penned and also uh, sang lead on. So every night in the concerts, everybody comes up and says, "Will you please sing Stand Still?" And I get a, a personal testimony of this, you know, David Marshall and Sonia and myself wrote. And uh, so I, I think it was most rewarding to re-record that song out of all of them because of the personal triumph behind the song and the stories. But uh, watch 25 years later how the story after story after story has come in. So it never gets old, and that was probably my most rewarding moment for the record. Sonia, you passed the mic off. Do you have a favorite? It's, it's a tie between From the Depths of My Heart, because it was our first number one song, and because it, it is so personal to us. And then he ain't never done me nothing but good because the the killer solos that the band played on the record. It was awesome to hear Gordon and Aubrey play. And who played the banjo band? Nothing but good. Oh, uh, Russ. Uh. Sorry. Off guard. <laughs> anyway, a rocking rockin tune on the new record. So it was Who fun. produced the album? Ben? Ben or? produced it. Okay. Executive produced by Terry Bradshaw. Okay. Second Wonderful. album for us. Don't change subjects on you. You guys just got back from Israel. Yeah. Tell me about the reason that you went to Israel and just tell us about that we, trip. We go to Israel every other year or so because we love Israel. We love taking people to visit the Holy Land to en, uh, enhance their Christian experience. If you've never been to Israel, you have to go. It will it, change your life. And um, this year we had a twofold purpose. It was not only to take people to their bucket list place, but we also, this year, to celebrate the 70th anniversary of Israel as a nation, we, uh, we did a free concert in Jerusalem, and we brought in 150 Holocaust survivors, 100 Israeli soldiers. We, we sang for them, and we gave them all gift cards for, uh, for the holidays, $100 gift cards. And we blessed a lot of charities. We blessed an orphanage. And for us, it was about the giving this year, and it was really awesome. What a story. Congratulations, guys, on Thank your you. nomination. You. Best Roots album Woo. for 2019. Good luck to you. Thank you for visiting with Singing News. Always a pleasure. The Isaacs.